Hello everyone. We will continue the topic classical report events and in the previous video. So far we covered seven classical report events. First one initialization, add selection screen, start of selection, end of selection, top of page, end of page and add selection screen up. Now we will go for our next event. Our next event is add selection screen on value request for whatever the field you are specifying. Add selection screen on value request for whatever the field we are specifying. Before we dig down into this event, we all know that SAP has given two kinds of help. What are those two kinds of help? You all know first help is called as F4 help. Second help is called as F1 help. F4 help is also called as value help. F4 help is also called as search help. F1 help is also called as technical information help. Always, always we have two kinds of help given by SAP. This topic is fully, fully explained in the basics of SAP ERP and ABAP that SAP has given two kinds of help. Generally, whenever we ask the question, what are the two kinds of help People will give the answer elementary and collective. Just understand the sense of the question. If someone asks, what are the two types of F4 help? What are the two types of value help? What are the two types of search help? Then the answer is elementary and collective. Now, we are the question is, what are the two types of help? Help. So help is only only of two types. One is F4 help and one is F1 help. The simple. Suppose if I will go for the example. This, this, whenever I will click on to this button, this is value help or I can do F4 also. So I can do F4 or I can simply, simply click on to this button. So whenever I will click on to this button or I will do F4, you can see this is value help or F4 help for this particular column, data class, data class. This is your value help or F4 help. Now, if I will do F1, if I will do F1 onto this data class, so this is technical information of data class. This is technical information. So we always, always has two kinds of help, value help and technical information help. Value help means F4 and technical information means F1. Now, what is our event? At selection screen on value request value request value request means what f4 f4 it is not f1 value is always always f4 so at what time this event will take this event requires action from our end it will not trigger automatically it requires action from our end. So, but the action we need to perform when user clicks F4 on a field of selection screen. Suppose simple example. Now I will show you. Suppose I am running the program, which the program which we developed. This is our classical report program. Whenever I will run this program, this button, this is your F4 button. This is your F4 button. So whenever I will click on to this button, which event will call? 
app selection screen on value request at selection screen on value request for now what is the field here our field is order date here suppose i am clicking on to this button this is your f4 button this is your value help button so which event will call at selection screen on value request for whatever the field in this case what is the field name payment mode suppose i am going for selection now you know one more field came currency as of now f4 help is not available but yes i can give the help by using which particular event at selection screen on value request for whatever the field we are specifying now what is the purpose of this event the purpose of this event is to provide value help to the input field value help to the input field now what we will do we will take two requirements so that you can understand the concept fully fully now what is our first requirement whenever i will go to payment mode i am going for f4 help you can see we have the values coming c credit card d debit card and net banking okay now from where this help is coming as of now as of now from where this help is coming if you see this select option is referring to this variable this variable has this data element data element has the domain and in the domain we gave c credit card d debit card and net banking so this help this help is coming from the domain itself this values are given in the domain that's why it is coming here now we will go for our first requirement what customer is saying i want credit card payment i want description credit card payment i want description debit card payment i want description net banking payment now simple what people will do they will simply simply go to the domain of this particular payment mode and they will add the word payment here credit card payment debit card payment net banking payment this is totally totally a wrong process the simple understanding suppose this domain we are using suppose this data element we are using at 200 places this data element has this domain once you change the values here all those 200 places will get impacted but as of now what is the requirement from the customer customer is saying in this particular program i just want the search help i just want credit card payment debit card payment and net banking payment why we will change in the domain because if we will change the domain domain is inside the data element that data element you are using at several places why we should impact all those places if the changes are required only only in this particular program so now what we will do in that case we all know whenever i will click on to this button which event will call at selection screen on value request for that particular field and in that event i will write a logic to provide our own value help provide our own search help provide our own f4 help simple 
so rather than this search help we will write a logic to call our own own search help we will write a logic for the same most most important thing suppose as of now this f4 is coming from the domain domain yes now there is no need to change the domain because all those places will get impacted so we will simply make use of this event we all know whenever we will click here add selection screen on value request event will trigger and we will write a logic to assign or we will write a logic to assign our own search help so this is one of the most important use now we will go for second thing now as of now this column do not have any search help in the previous case we are overriding the existing search help in this case there is no search help so we will also assign the search help or we will also assign the f4 help or value help using which particular event at selection screen on value request for that particular field so this is widely widely used we will take two scenarios in one scenario we will override the search help or f4 help or value help by our own search help in the second case we will assign we will assign the search help or value help or f4 help to which particular input field currency so now what is the summary of the video in this video we started with the next classical report event that is at selection screen on value request for whatever the selection screen field we are specifying always remember value 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 is always f4 and f1 is technical technical if someone ask you value help always remember that is f4 if someone ask you technical help that is always always f1 so at what action this event will trigger this event requires action from our end whenever we will do f4 whenever we will do f4 on a field of selection screen yes this is a field of selection screen this is a field of selection screen this is a field of selection screen so whenever we will do f4 on a field of selection screen which event will trigger at selection screen on value request for that particular field and the purpose of this event is to provide value help value help means what f4 help if it is called as search help yes so we took two requirement in one requirement we will override this search help or f4 help or value help by our own value help in the next scenario we will assign a value help or f4 help to this particular field currency in the next video we will start with the practical part of this particular requirement so that's it in this video thank you